all local. And me and, me and him complain all the time about uh, not having an environment where we can where we can shoot. <laughs> Only in Hamilton. Only, Only in Hamilton. And that's what we're talking about. <laughs> we gotta do with that. We don't have shit. spots to shoot because of <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Today is Sunday, March 11th. Nice to see everybody. Loving it, loving the weather right now. It's it's not doing too bad right now. It's uh, it's March and uh, we're gonna be doing, I'm embarrassed right now because somebody's walking down the street and I'm recording this. Give me one second. Sorry about that guys. Um, I know I've been vlogging for over a year now but uh, I'm still embarrassed when it comes to talking in front of the camera. So when I see people walking down the street and I'm in my car holding a camera and here's another person then I just get embarrassed but anyways today uh, we're gonna do another photography adventure today me and Peter are gonna be going to uh, the Jackson Square area today's video is gonna be mostly about our adventure but also about uh, how to use uh, the town you live in or existing environment that you're around to create good photos uh, appealing photos I know everyone uh, likes to see videos of people in LA and people in Miami and people in New York partying, living it up, shopping, doing the high life. And you know what? My city is not like that at all. My city is an industrial city. Well, it used to be a high steel um, fabricating city. It still does have some steel fabrications in there, but we're, that's what we're known for. And also our waterfalls. We don't live in the most appealing spot, space, but we do live in somewhere that everyone lives in somewhere where we can use. The space around us. Okay guys, so sorry, I got, I seen Pete here and I wanted to rush, I didn't want to make him wait, so. As I was trying to say, I don't know if I said it properly He saw before. me and he got excited. I got a little excited, yeah. Pete's here. He's doing, he's doing a vlog today too, so be sure to check that out when it comes out. Probably quicker than mine, because you got more time to work on this yeah, shit. Yeah, I do. I think it's good, it's a good challenge to, a good way of challenging ourselves to use the environment around us, because it makes us become more creative, think of different ideas, and think of sort of, outside of the box and also how to input that I guess the feel of our our location around us so they put it into our pictures so we're gonna head down right now and then uh, we'll catch you guys down by the Jackson Square location that I was talking about we'll see you after we just got here down at uh, Jackson Square um, one of Hamilton's oldest shopping centers and uh, I found a spot the other day where when I was here and um, I, I just took a few shots, and Pete's been interested in doing shots. Thanks. And we're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna do like a vid, and Pete's gonna do a tutorial. So, guys, this is more of like a, this is definitely an urban setting. And you know, all you need is like a downtown core. You gotta go where like the spotlight is uh, in your city. So, I'd say downtown is pretty much the uh, spot. Sorry, <laughs> downtown is the spotlight for the life of Hamilton, especially now what with uh, the housing economy growing. It's the uh, farmers market. Really? Farmer's market, sorry. That looks sick to shoot in. We might be able to get in over here. I don't know if I'm in focus or not, guys. Oh, it's cold, kids. So anyways, we're back at uh, the place where I took uh, a picture the other day. I'll show you guys, it's right here. And um, uh, we're here, Pete, Pete liked the environment, so he's gonna do a nice shot here. He's gonna do a vlog on, like I said, uh, cinematic, how to get the most cinematic shots. And the um, reason why I cho chose this place is because of the, it's really symmetrical and the lighting's perfect. So like, I just found this on, the, on a downtown balcony of a shopping, like a shopping place. Like, if you guys can explore the city as much as you can, like explore where you are as much as you can, even in, if it involves you like going out one night by yourself and just taking random shots, that's what I did. And uh, and like now, it's probably gonna be like a prime spot after you post it on your account yeah. because <laughs> <laughs> Pete's got such a big following. Not big, almost 10. Almost 10K. It's nothing. The road to 10K. Almost. Almost, so yeah. So yeah, like I said, random random balcony. It looks sick here. So like it's, it's, it's normal, but we're gonna make it look cool just by like different lighting stuff, how to shoot, uh, how to shoot it, and yeah. That's, what's, that's what I'm gonna be talking in my video anyways. And then with certain equipment too. Focusing. He's got the he's got the Ronin over here. Okay, guys, so we're just gonna get started uh, with Pete's um, Pete's stuff over here, and then we'll go over the tutorial with you guys.
just finished up a Pete Cinematic sequence and like the footage came out pretty man from what, from what uh, Peter's reaction was. So right now I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna have to set up this camera and then go straight to my iPhone and uh, show you guys from there. Shot of Peter with his, uh, with his Ronin right here down here. So I did I did take a picture here already, but now we're gonna do it from the other angle. So before I was over there going this way, now we're gonna go take a picture that way. And I'm gonna show you guys a little tutorial on how to do it from the camera. Uh, okay, so I don't know if you guys can see my screen, but uh, right now we got Peter here. Um, he's uh, he's in the center. So I'm lining up this grid with these lights. I'm gonna be lining up the grid with these lights and have Peter in the center there. And we're going to be taking a picture of him with the uh, the Ronin. So this is, guys, keep in mind, this whole tutorial is about, not specifically about taking the picture, but more about how using the settings around us and near us in your photography. Okay, so we're all done the shot. We did a few shots of Pete, um, uh, where we kept them in line, uh, symmetrical with the lights. And uh, this is the, the fa most favorite one out of all of them that, that came out, it was in portrait mode. And uh, yeah, Pete got, we got some more sequences uh, with the Pete stuff. Yep. Just walking back to the car now. And yeah guys, so like, me and Pete were actually just talking like, he said he got some of the probably some of the best footage he's gotten around yeah. in this area. Only with one light too. Yeah, with one light. Oh, we're going blurry there. One light. And um, I should do another video on how to light stuff with one light. Let's do it. One lighters. One lighters one or one nighters? Both. One nights, one lights. <laughs> one night, one light. So yeah, so me and Pete were discussing like this is probably his best footage that he's gotten, and it's all locally. This is all local. I mean, me and him complain all the time about uh, not having an environment where we can where we can shoot. <laughs> Only in Hamilton. Only, Only in Hamilton. And that's what we're talking about. <laughs> we gotta do with that. We don't have shit. spots to shoot because of these <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Like degree five. Downtown Hamilton is pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Yo, would we even have to go in there? I don't know. I think we can get up there. Closed. It might be close. We gotta go in through there if we're gonna go in there. So every, everything was done locally, and like me, me and him are the worst ones. We always complain about not always. having somewhere to shoot. Always shooting at night because like I work, <laughs> you work, I do stuff. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, the footage came out good for night for nighttime stuff. It came out pretty good. Yeah, for not being in Miami and not being in Los Angeles and everything, we did pretty good today. Yeah, more of a New York vibe. Can't wait for the snow to be gone. Yeah, there's still snow here. It was gone last week, and then it came back, and then it's gone again, and comes back, and what the, what we, we just got to deal with it. So right now, we're just uh, heading back to our houses. You guys have yourselves a good night. Peace.